Hello all. I have recently had the time with COVID to focus on my channel. I am excited to continue work on projects like these where I provide you with information and give you my insight on it. In this video, we will be discussing The Mandalorian Season 2. I will lead by saying that Season 2 is in post-production and that they had already begun principal photography for Season 3 before COVID halted progress. Season 2 was announced for release in October 2020, although a specific day has not been given yet. I will warn you that while I won't be going into character backgrounds, the character announcements will contain spoilers. So first on the cast, we have Mark Cooper. He is mostly a stunt actor and stunt coordinator, however he did appear in La La Land and in Narcos Mexico alongside Diego Luna who is Cassian Andor in Rogue One. His role will be a bodyguard. He is pretty well built, so I imagine that he will get into a scuffle with Mando and company. Next, we have John Flanagan, who I cannot find a picture of. He will be playing a scout trooper, so there will probably be more Imperial Remnant troops. He has done a lot of stunt work and background characters, so I don't think this scout trooper will be any more relevant than the others that we've seen. The next two have had their characters announced, though if season one was any indication, the uh, unannounced characters that we get leaked this early are on supporting cast or main cast for like one episode and then never seen again. Of these two, the first is Timothy Oliphant. We have seen him on Fargo, Santa Clarita Diet, and Justified. He has also appeared in several other shows and movies as an extra. He has experience playing the role of a drifter loner and a lawman, so he may be another bounty hunter or he may be a lawman on whatever planet the episode takes place on. Now, there are rumors that he may be playing Cobb Vanth and wearing Boba's armor, but I hope that this is not the case. The character of Cobb Vanth wears a suit of Mandalorian armor that was in the possession of Jawas. There is no confirmation that the armor is Boba's, and I hope that they leave this character where it belongs, as a supporting character in a book series. Next is an actor that I am extremely excited to see added, Michael Bean, who has been in The Terminator, Aliens, Tombstone, and Planet Terror, just to name a few of my top picks from his vast career. He has a wealth of experience and has shown the ability to play both good guys and, and bad guys. Uh, he can play military, police, or civilians pretty equally. Um, so I hope that we get to see his character more than once, but I don't hold out hope with the way that they throw around characters that aren't Mando. Moving up in importance, we have Katie Sackhoff, who was in Battlestar Galactica and Riddick, but way more importantly than that, she was in the Clone Wars and Rebels as Bo-Katan Kryze. I will do more videos in the future about the character that we will see uh, in Season 2, so I'll discuss her role in the universe there. If you want to watch her character growth yourself, both The Clone Wars and Rebels are available on Disney+. Next we have Rosario Dawson, who has voiced Wonder Woman in a lot of shows and games. She was also Claire Temple in the Netflix Marvel shows, along with other minor roles. She will be playing Ahsoka Tano. Although this does have some controversy around it, um, a lot of people don't like her as Ahsoka. I personally would have preferred Ashley Eckstein continue the role of Ahsoka, although there is still hope that they will voice over Rosario with Ashley to maintain the character. This is something that's been done quite often with characters like Darth Vader, Boba Fett, and Emperor Palpatine all being acted out as one person, but being voiced over by another person entirely. The final and most exciting character announcement is Tamora Morrison as Boba Fett. He starred in Once Were Warriors and its sequel, What Becomes of the Broken Hearted, and of course, he played Jango Fett in Attack of the Clones. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. This is the most exciting news to me, as I have loved Boba Fett from the moment that I laid eyes on him. Again, I will be talking about the characters and their stories as we get closer to October for anyone who does not know who they are and who does not care to watch the movies and shows. Given my extensive knowledge about Boba Fett, I may also do a video about his out-of-universe background and the evolution of his armor, as well as some other information that you may not know. Uh, there are rumors that Bill Burr will be reprising his role as the mercenary Mayfeld, and obviously the titular character of the Mandalorian will be returning.
There is no word about if his companions Cara Dune and Grief Karga will be returning, but considering those characters were added alongside The Mandalorian in Galaxy of Heroes, a mobile game available on iOS and Android, I am confident that they will be back. Now that the characters are done, I wanted to show you this gem that I found on Twitter. This is a Gamorrean guard, like the ones that we saw in episode 6, although obviously it's not wearing any armor. This looks like the kind of figures that they give to artists to ensure that any busts, masks, or drawings all look the same. This tells me that we will be seeing Gamorreans in this season. Since we have seen Tatooine, and there are rumors of Cobb Vanth, these could well be the survivors from Jabba's death, or their descendants. They might also be muscle hired on by Mayfeld to back him up when he confronts Mando. After some character background videos and a few more character announcements are made, I will probably make a video on my speculations of what will occur in Season 2, but it really is too soon to tell. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tune in for more awesome content as we get closer to The Mandalorian Season 2 in October 2020. Also, be sure to let me know your theories and what you would like to see happen in Season 2. Thank you for watching.